Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews. I buy all the gear so you don't have to. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Lock Riding Short. So, this ha originally came out under the North Coast Collection. That was a collaboration between Mission Workshop and Taylor, uh, how do we say Taylor Swift? Taylor Stitch, which is uh, another, a cool year uh, in San Francisco, American made. Um, I don't own any of their things. Um, well, I guess except this. So, um, as you can see, the uh, tag is a little different. It has Mission Workshop logo on top and the bottom right here. And then that little bear is the Taylor Stitch uh, logo. So, um, I got this as part of the original collection uh, in May, and they didn't actually uh, deliver it until September because they, it, was, it was crowdsourced. And now it has replaced um, Mission Workshop's The Stall riding short. So now this has made it into the regular lineup. I don't know if you order it now, if you're still gonna get the um, Taylor Stitch Mission Workshop um, collaboration tag. Who cares, I guess. I do, because I love this crap, but most people don't give a shit if it has a special tag. So um, now this, uh, if you've seen my review of the Mission Workshop Division Chino, um, that was made with shoulder material. Um, it doesn't say shoulder on the tag. It said shoulder on the website when I purchased it, so I'm going to go with that. But um, it's actually made up of the same materials, which are 84% nylon and 16% spandex. But this is not shoulder. I don't know, maybe that was an error on the website. Maybe Scholar's a trademark. Um, this is advertised as an American-made um, material. I don't think this is four-way stretch, but honestly, when you're wearing a short, you don't need to worry about four-way stretch as much as with pants. Nevertheless, it has a nice stretch to it. Um, these are water repellent. Funny story, though. Um, you know, all summer here um, on the East Coast, um, we actually had a fair amount of rain and I'm waiting and waiting for these shorts to come and all I had are like cotton shorts and you know, I ride all the time and they would get wet and I just couldn't wait for these things to arrive so I could wear them um, in the rain. They actually advertise these as shorts that can go from uh, bike to camp to lake. So I was really looking forward to it. I wanted these to be my bathing suit. I do a lot of swimming as well. Um, I bike to the pool, so I just wanted to like seamlessly go from bike to pool. Anyway, I'll do that next summer. But when they finally came in September, I was so excited. I wore them like every day, and it, it finally rained. I was like, yes, let's check it out. Well, water repellent shorts are kind of pointless, because you know what? You're going to get soaking wet anyway, because they're shorts. So the bottom portion of my leg got wet. It actually also rained pretty hard and like the Division Chinos, these are water repellent, not waterproof, so the material will get wet if you're in a persistent downpour. Um, a light drizzle, it's going to beat up, and even in a downpour, the fabric's not going to get wet for a little while, um, but eventually it will get wet. Um, they do dry quick though, right? So. You know, if you're caught in a storm and you want to get out of it, you go to like a bar or whatever, a library, not everybody drinks, uh, and they'll dry up pretty quick. So um, I never own the stalls, but I can already tell that I would like these more than the stalls. So um, they have same type of pocket as the Division Chino, uh, quarter top pockets. They have a carabiner keyring hoop. They also have a fifth pocket. And they also have uh, unbuttoned back pockets. Um, some differences, though, are these are snaps, not buttons. Um, at first, I hated that because um, it was like an extra step, especially since there's two of them. But then, actually, because these are a little big on me, I realized um, I can just snap this one in more. So you kind of can tighten these up or if you put on a couple pounds 
you can loosen these up about a half inch either way. So that's kind of nice. If, uh, you don't want to wear a belt or you just need a little extra room or you need to tighten them up. I don't know if that was the purpose, but you can do that with these. Um, so back to why I think these, I would like these better than the stall. They have a cool little pocket in the back. Actually, they have two, one on either side, and it's a pretty big pocket. You could put your hand in there. Uh, bits of pack of cigarettes or, I don't know, a power bar. And uh, at first I thought uh, when I was in the saddle, it would smush them. But the way that they're positioned, um, they're, they're too low on the, on the, on the short to be affected by the saddle. So it's a nice little extra cargo if you need it. And if you don't, they're, they're not hidden from sight. There's a little lip over it. Um, so you can see them, but nothing, it's not like a, a cargo pocket that's just like popping out there. So yeah, anyway, um, inside is a nice little felt material around the waist. That was something that was dip, that the uh, Division Chino didn't have, so that was really nice. Anyway, okay. Well, uh, that's it my, my, for my review on Mission Workshop, The Lock. Um, they're $155, by the way, which I will say that's too much for me for a pair of shorts, um, especially since the water repellency is kind of less important with a short since the bottom half of your legs are going to get wet anyway. I was able to get these at a crowdsourced price of $100 because um, I pre-ordered uh, when the North Coast collection was coming out in May. So, uh, 100 bucks is fine. I, I wouldn't spend 150 on, on these. Um, but, to each his own. Who knows? Alright, anyway, till next time guys. Thanks for watching.